Today's challenge is ultimate influencer games. I've never made a TikTok before. I put some bomb pictures of me. You're just looking at me like you might as well kiss me. Mm -mm, no kisses. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's hit one of these. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> we are going to be doing the smoothie challenge. Ginger ale. Hello, oh, ladies. So thick. No, I'm not good. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, you are my MVP. <laughs> Season three of Twin My Heart. If you aren't caught up with all of the episodes yet, make sure to watch them before you watch this. Last episode, Nate chose Gabby as his MVP, so I wonder who he's going to take on his one-on-one -on -one date. Again, I just feel like we had great chemistry, our pictures were amazing, and your TikTok really made me laugh. It was really creative and it was funny. The person who I want to take on my one-on-one -on -one date is... Monica. You two can go get ready for your one-on-one -on -one day. We have something fun planned, so. Do we get a Shoo hint? Along. No hint. No, no hint. No hint. Go no, no, along. No. Go, go. Shoo, shoo. So right before my date with Monica, Gabby pulls me to the side and says she has a surprise for me. Um, I want to show you something kind of cool. Okay. Okay. It's like, it's pretty fun. You'll, okay. you'll like it. Yeah. Oh, we're going somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just follow me. Okay. And this, like, this activity is just like, it's a part of me, so I wanted to like, you know, immerse you in what, like, I'm about, you know? Are we having a picnic? Well, kind of, sort of. I wanted to make a charcuterie board with you. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. There's the leaves, the sunset, we're on a ranch. It honestly doesn't get any better than this. So take your salami, okay. like just one piece, and then you're just gonna fold, like taco style, mm -hmm. and then fold it again so it's like a little triangle. Okay. Like, I'm curious, like, because I'm an alien mm -hmm. to the TikTok world, yeah. so like, I wanna know like more about it. Like, what do you do? Yeah, I mean, I've just been, I've been doing that app for four years now. And okay. obviously I do like, well, not, I wouldn't say obviously, you didn't know that, but I do YouTube, <laughs> mm -hmm. Instagram, everything social media, Snapchat, acting and music is my passion. Okay. But uh, social media definitely helps pursue those other things. And I wanted to ask like you, like about like your upbringing, like mm -hmm. how were you raised? Like, cause I know you said you came from Ohio. Mm -hmm. So like. Uh, mm -hmm. My mom taught me how to be a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Dad wasn't in my life. And because of that, I think my mom made it a point to like really teach me the male traits mm -hmm. and like to be a gentleman. And uh, honestly, I don't think, I mean, I think she taught me more well than any other man would. You do have a lot of manners, and it's just like, it's nice to see that. Cause yeah. You don't get that a lot. Yeah. And like, when you do, you're like. Mm hmm. <laughs> Surprising and shocking. Is this real life? Yeah. Like, is he real? <laughs> well, thank you for this. Yeah, of course. This was like amazing. Like, I was not expecting this at all. I thought I was gonna come out and just talk to you. Mm -hmm. And then you surprised me with this. And no, this is probably yeah. the sweetest thing someone's ever done for me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> like, this is amazing. I think I just really got way closer to you. Yay, I feel that as well. Hey, girl. Hi. Hey, are you back already? No, we haven't oh. yet. <laughs> um, I was like, what? Waiting for him. Oh. Okay, well, you look are pretty. excited? Thank you. Yeah, I'm nervous. Are you gonna kiss him knowing that he kissed uh, Brie last night? If he makes the move, I think I would. I don't think I'll initiate it, but mm, I'm not opposed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we set up a really cute one-on-one -on -one date for Monica and Nate. Honestly, this is a dream date. Three, two, two one, open! Driving! Oh, driving! That's so cute! Yay. Oh, that's creative. In the first season, I watched a movie with Tim, and it was just like a really fun vibe. We watched my favorite movie. We just got to talk and get to know each other. So I thought this would be a great idea for Monica and Nate to do that. I've always wanted to do like, this. You ever went to a drive-in movie? I've been to the drive-in once. I'm really hoping that me and Nate will have the opportunity to talk more, get a little bit into like the deeper stuff, and I'm hoping he makes a move because I'm kind of waiting for that reassurance. And you have great energy. Like I love that. Like, it's easy to talk to you. <laughs> Thank you. you we had too. so much fun the other yes. the Sunday. <laughs> that was so much fun. Mm -hmm. I, I tried to uh, tri I tried, tried to again. <laughs> tie the cherry in a knot and. Uh, this wasn't happening. Yeah, she had a good tongue game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And that's I've what never had someone say. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I've asked. ever had someone ask me to do that for them though either. So really, really? Yeah, that was first. So because mm -hmm. you know, right now you're not a good kisser. So. 
Right now, that's what that means? Right oh, now you're not good. You told me what that meant. <laughs> Is that what that really means though? I mean, I according to Drake and Josh, yeah. So I'm not, a good t- I'm not a good kisser. Is that what you're saying? That's what Drake and Josh would say. Mm. Test it out. Hey, hi. How's it going? We're all good. <laughs> we just came to come get you guys because the year one one day is coming to an end. Um, but everyone is just chilling. I think all the girls are going in the hot tub and just hanging out. What was your date? Okay, I was I was trying not to like compare myself to like the other girls' dates because I know like you had said like he had asked like to kiss you and then he kissed you and then he kissed you. Did he? Huh. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, he wait, kissed you? Know? you. No, 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 I don't like that he's kissing other girls. I'm gonna be straight up. Exactly. I don't like that. I don't yeah. like that at all. And I don't want to be. I don't want to be just another, like another yeah, girl yeah. he's kissing because then it's just not gonna feel special on my end. He hasn't like tried to kiss me. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if it's a bad thing that I rejected it. Monica said she was gonna do it tonight. If um, especially if he initiated it, she said yeah. So do we think he did? Yeah, at the rate we're going, probably. Yeah. Yeah. At this, co- at at this conversation? Probably, yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah I I'm, I'm going to grab them first. Go ahead. Eliminations are coming up. I'm definitely thinking about pulling Nate to the side tonight before eliminations because I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Okay, so I just want to talk to you. Okay. Obviously, you know, on our date, I want to know how you felt about me being like, you know, no, no kisses today or like whatever I said. I mean, yeah, I just thought we were having a moment and I wanted to kiss you. Mm-hmm. And you said no. I didn't know if you like felt like we were like just friends or mm-hmm. like what the vibe was. Mm-hmm. So I didn't. I didn't. That's why I wanted to talk to you. I was like, I heard through the grapevine that you're not good, like with stuff like that, or like it could have made your head. So I, I wanted to let you what know. Am I what, not good? What did, what with, did you like, hear through the grapevine? Like being like rejection, I guess you could yeah, say. Like I'm not. And like no one is, right? Wait, oh, we have Monica. a. We have a. Wait, oh, Hello. Hello. How was? It was good. It was good. They set up like a little drive-in movie. I'm gonna go ahead inside though while y'all do this. Dry up a little bit, okay. maybe steal a chat. I really want to talk to him about last night. And when I was in the bottom two, I felt really uncomfortable going into elimination tonight without at least even speaking to him about it. So that conversation needs to happen. I can't believe I did this show where you're publicly gonna possibly tell me, yeah, it's just not gonna work. Like, yeah, okay, but like, I really love you, but like, <laughs> I love some, or I like someone else better. Like, all right, you can have, I'm back. you can't have him, but you can, Borrow. Borrow. No problem. That's fine. I did not expect Aaron to come in. So I was just a little curious, like, what put me in the bottom two. Well, I've heard through the grapevine that you are getting a little bit too confident or comfortable. Okay. You wanted to humble me a little bit. A little bit, because I know that it, it, it definitely probably does worry. The other girls. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, girl. Can we talk? Yeah. 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 I want to know how they met. I mean, she doesn't have to open up to us about it. Like that's between her and him. But like, it's unfair. No, one hundred percent. Like, oh, we just casually know each other. But like, yeah. If you oh, well. okay. So remember she's last night when she? I mean, we can ask her though. Yeah. More. Has detail. she heard you say she's coming? Um, I've already said I'm not talking about me anymore. So. Yeah. That's what we. That's all we said. Gabby, how do you feel? Honestly, indifferent. At the end of the day, if I'm his cup of tea and like, and she's not, then yeah, Yeah. then it'll be you. Exactly. Well, I felt a little bad for not really hanging out with you last night. Obviously, when we had like an opportunity to hang out with you a little bit more, I wanted to say sorry because I do want to hang out with you. The thing is, I like you. And like, I like you a lot. And obviously as I get to know you more. Well, that was a pleasant surprise actually. Okay. Yeah, and I know that like, I may not come off like a, as I, sorry. You're good. I'm like nervous. No, you're good. I know it may not seem like I do, but I do. And it's scaring me a little bit. It's making me obviously feel 
these like scary feelings that I thought I didn't have, but I guess I do because I am starting to like you a lot. But obviously the fact that you're like kissing Brie and like obviously you've kissed Erin, it just makes me feel like, I you don't saw know. that? I saw you kiss Brie. Did everyone see that? Yeah, everyone did see that. And obviously it's not a fun feeling seeing that. Obviously the girls are close, but all of a sudden I feel like the competition has really started because now we are seeing that they are expressing they really like Nate and they're, some of them are concerned. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I, this whole day I thought you didn't even wanna be here. No, it's not even like, that. It's just because I'm now going through these like thoughts in my head and I'm like overanalyzing everything, which I shouldn't. But like that's just who I am. I naturally analyze everything. As well, well, you should trust what we have, because you were the first girl that I took on a date. So yeah. that means something. I know, I know. And thank you for obviously, I guess, reassuring me mm -hmm. in a way. Thank but you for reassuring me. Really? Okay. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not... I, I don't want to make you feel like I don't like you because I do. I really do. I love, obviously, dancing with you, and I love getting to know you more. I want to get to know you more. I know there's a lot more to you than, obviously, what you've yeah. mentioned. There's a lot more to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I want to be open with you and tell you exactly how I feel and, like, what I'm thinking. I Rather than, like, me shut off and, like, not tell you how I'm feeling. If that makes sense. It does. Yeah. You're so cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Don't do You're that. You're so cute when scared. you get all like flustered. I, and <laughs> I, get flustered. I thought I had a clear decision of my elimination tonight, but now I'm like, hey. Hi. Um, I don't think he cares that she has a kid. He grew up in a single parent home. He doesn't care. I think he relates more to her because of that. Yeah, exactly. And feels for her that the parent that the dad isn't around. Right. I'm like nervous for eliminations tonight. Why? Like I know like you're having connections with the other girls too. Mm hmm So obviously it makes me like a little bit nervous, but like I still just wanted to like pull you aside and like talk to you. Yeah. Let's <laughs> reinsure you. Is it? Um, You're coming up and telling me. I know, I offered. Uh, I offered. <laughs> I offered to okay. get you. Elimination time. Sorry, yeah. dresses on. Sorry, bring it up, baby. Oh, okay. Um, Are you ready? Uh, Dude, what's going on? I don't know what to do. I thought I had a clear decision. I thought I had a clear choice. I didn't think this was going to be this hard. Like. Ladies, you all look absolutely gorgeous tonight. It is that time of the night though for eliminations. As a reminder, the person who won MVP today is safe from eliminations and that is Gabby. Mm -hmm. The rest of you are not safe. Nate, would you like to name your bottom two? <clears throat> um, you know, I know these last few nights there has been a bottom two, but I I just don't feel comfortable n naming a bottom two right now. Nate keeps pulling all these twists on us. He's not choosing a bottom two? So with that said, the person that I am just, I, I know in my heart that it's just not a match. Um, The person that I'm going to eliminate is... Kayana. Thank you. Can you talk? Yes. Also, ladies, I love you. I love, love you. you. really sweet and she brought like this really happy energy and she positive did. vibes. I'm really gonna miss her. Me too. Yo, I, I vibe with you, but I feel like it's just, it's on a... It's a platonic level, right? Mm -hmm. like I felt the same. Level. That's why I had to talk to you. Yeah. 
Well, like I would actually kick it with you. No, I know. We have so much fun. Yeah. That's what I was saying, so I'm glad we talked about it. Yeah. Thank you for the experience. It's been fun. Yeah. So many fun times. Thank you for putting yourself out here. Absolutely. And doing this, because this Absolutely. is not easy. Absolutely. Well, and you're, you're beautiful and you're amazing. Thank you. And <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, well, you should know. I know, you I know. know. This experience has been so interesting. I've got a lot of tea from a lot of ladies, and I kind of knew, like, I may not be his cup of tea, but I'm somebody else's glass of champagne, so I'm okay. So with that being said, you ladies are safe for tonight so we can enjoy the rest of the evening. And tomorrow's hint for the activity is expect the unexpected. Okay. <laughs> and I would like to give you ladies some advice. This is a dating show. There were 10 of you, five are gone, and now five of you are left. Tomorrow, your time with Nate is as valuable as ever. So make sure you use it wisely. Okay, a lot of tension. Let's go have fun. Let's loosen up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Gosh. What a day from the confrontations to all those kisses to the elimination to the tea. I'm in shock to be honest. This is this is a lot. It is. Comment down below what you thought was the most shocking moment of this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode. Hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode goes out. What's wrong? <laughs> Can you go talk over there? I just wish I could listen. I know something's wrong. I didn't think it was gonna be so overwhelming. I just, I don't know what to do. We all wanna be the last one here, so. Right. <sighs> subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate, check out his TikTok, subscribe to our channel while you're at it. Also, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.